We are back with another Muay Thai video today. The video is called Rod Tang the Iron Man. Don't get mistaken, I've already watched a Rod Tang video before, so I already know he is someone to not mess about with. I think I already watched one of these documentaries about Sunshine. I think it's from this same channel. So if you haven't checked that one out, go check it out as well. Yeah, if you have any other Muay Thai videos or Muay Thai fighters that you'd like me to, you know, check out in the future, then uh, be sure to let me know in the comments uh, down below. Now, let's just get into this, okay? Before we do that, uh, be sure to like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Uh, I really appreciate it everyone who, who does that and uh, yeah it helps me out uh, quite a lot as well as that <laughs> go check out my gaming channel which will be down in the description it's just two clicks away anyway i think it's time now to start this video <clears throat> Flipping egg. That's a lot. As everyone knows, I fought last night on one championship against Rod Tang. <laughs> Doesn't look good, mate. I lost every round. Convincingly. <laughs> Most prominent modern practitioners. Of I mean, just look at that there. He just gets punched straight in the face. Just like, just firms it. That is so nuts, man and knocked the other guy out at the same time. Dude, he's nuts. The Iron Man. Birthplace of the art of eight limbs. He began training at age seven. So a bit of background of him. Uh, seven. His first fight when he was eight years old. The sport of Muay Thai has a documented history going back centuries. Um, moved to Bangkok when he was 14 to join the Jip Wang Non Gym. Children as young as seven are regularly... Jesus paid. Christ. Born to a poor family. That's nuts. But a strong one. Rod Tang chose the only path he knew could elevate him from poverty. It's so weird that, like, in Thailand, this is kind of like what they do. They just go and, like, fight for a living. And they start fighting when they're, like, seven, like they just said there. But when I was seven, I was just, like, playing on my fucking Nintendo, eating, like, candy and shit. These guys are, like, training to take people's heads off. They're different over there, man. Whew. They're trained from childhood, and so the level of skill and competition is through the roof. Even as a child, he was training 10 hours a day. 10 hours a day? Nah, that can't be right. Stadium, the world famous iconic boxing stadium. He burst onto the is he scene red? by fighting at an unprecedented rate, tallying over 200 fights before turning 20. In his homeland, holy he became shit! A must see warrior, a true artist. He is so world. active, it's unbelievable. Crossed out the jab, there's a right hand. Looking for a Damn. There, maybe. Roger, How old is he here? Over, over his, you know, 300 fight career on his way to one, has probably fought in all manner of different arenas. He systematically pressures his opponents <sighs> until they bend. To his will. A taste of the power from Rod Zachip one nine. Damn. Like he he just looks so calm and just like Oh look at that. Ooh, what an elbow. That was nice. Like it doesn't even look like he's fighting. He's so he's that calm in the face. A predator like style. Oh my days. Look at the speed of that. He bounces into action and doesn't stop till the fight is ended. He's had 262 career wins. <sighs> that is a lot. I guess the reason why he's been able to be quite active or have so many fights would probably be he can take a hit. From the last video that I watched, you know, it showcased that. He is a tank. Like, you know, he gets punched in the face 
and he just brushes it off. And that, I think, is why he um, he probably has had so many fights in his career, and the reason why he's probably been so active. I mean, that 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 that's what makes sense, right? Because other fighters, you know, they get hit and they're like they're out for probably a month. You know, healing. You know, they they they've got a black eye. You know, whatever. The and then they go back to fighting. He probably just like gets absolutely battered in his face. Day or two later, he's back. <laughs> he's back fighting. So I'm guessing that's why he's been able to be so active. He's as such a veteran of the fight game, which is crazy considering he's 23 years old. He uses every trick in the book to keep man. opponents off balance. Each time I would see new things that he was doing. How technical he is, man. Would use. Oh. He captured the Max Muay Thai 125 title at age 19. Poor. Oh. 19, man. Feels the mouth. There comes a point where he decides that's it. He pulls the pin. Jesus, and he man. Goes. Bro, imagine fighting him. That would be such a long day. Oh. He trains at one of the most legendary gyms in Thailand. No frills, no fancy methods, just old school hard work. This is how it's. This is how it should be, right? Training in grit. If you don't train in grit and you know roughness, you're not gonna get stronger, man. Yeah. Oh my days, man. <laughs> Imagine you're fighting someone in the street and then they just hit you with like 10 kicks in like 5 seconds. Comes forward. The human tech, the wrecking ball. I mean, look at that there. Doesn't phase him. <sighs> he became the it's like fighting a robot, man. At age 20. Three's punching power Dude. is aggression. It's incredible, man. Oh. Oh. Stunned him. <laughs> oh my days. You can just... Oh. You can just see that those just... The impact of those hits. It's like he's got bricks in his gloves. I swear to God, they look so heavy. Dang made the jump to one championship that same one year. One championship, yeah, I've heard of this. signed with one, which was uh, 2018. His record was 250, 40, and 10, which is just what? incredible. It's an, it's a massive amount of experience. Wow, that is nuts. His one debut was one for the ages. Oh, what a dump there from Rotak. A show of dominance. Hang on a minute, is this a, is this one championship? Is this uh, Muay Thai? I'm guessing this is Muay Thai fighting because they've got the, the Muay Thai um, shorts on. But uh, I'm a bit confused because in one championship, I remember it being MMA. Because I've heard of it before. I've, I've, I've seen a few, you know, fights from that one championship and yeah, I thought it was mainly MMA, but I'm get I guess they can do all sorts. Oh! He was facing a fighter called Sergio Wilson, who Jesus. was a very, very awkward fighter, very springy, very rangy, very difficult to predict. Just dominance. Just push kick. Just get out of the way, man. He battered Sergio around the ring. Oh my god! Like just the intensity. Oh. oh my. It's bullying at this point, man. Too good. Too bloody good. At this point, he was bouncing between one and traditional Muay Thai. Oh my god. Just look at the power, man. That guy's already done. He's like, oh my god. Oh. 
Just like that. The thing is, is that, like, just look there, for an example. This guy's trying to get, like, counters and, like, trying to trying to hit him while he's hitting him. But the thing is, is that that doesn't work. He legit just takes the punch. <laughs> and it's just nothing. So it's like, what are you supposed to do against him? Like, you hit him in the head with all your power. And he's just like... <clears throat> what are you supposed to do at that point? I'd like to see the people that beat him. Because he's had some losses, obviously. They must have been, like, absolute units or something. Yeah, he's bullying this guy, for sure. And this guy's probably, like, a good fighter. This is perspective. Returning to one, Rotten uses good. blistering elbows to batter his way to another victory. Uh, uh, Fadi Khaled, who's another very dangerous fighter. 37 and 4 with 22 knockouts. Wow, okay. Let's see how this goes, though. Oh. Dude, it's just too much intensity. Let's see that again. Cracks his oh. right muscle at the top side of the head. Very disorientated. Jesus. See his legs go in this position here. Yeah, he he's he's bamboozled. No, no. it's over. If you're bamboozled, you have less defense, and then it's just... You're just a, uh, yeah, pinata at that point. Oh! Oh my days! Oh, nah, it's over. This guy's running for his life. I mean, obviously, looked like it was bullying him. He was back in the circle, and this was against uh, Hakim Hamesh. But now he's going to start beating him up from the ground up. He starts kicking at his legs and keeping him away with that lead leg. He's prodding him in the midsection. Look at that, man. The combo. And adding in elbows oh. to his game. For me, elbows are a game changer. Continually, Hamish having to pick himself up from these dumps of Rodzan Chikmagon. Oh! Manhandling him. Adding those elbows in makes him an, an even more lethal uh, problem to deal Jesus with. Jesus Christ. Range. That cannot be good for the jaw. Nice elbow there from Rodzan to the orbital of Hakim Hamish. That was a good fight. Having already won two titles in Thailand, Rod Tang would set aim on the one Muay Thai flyweight world title. Jonathan Haggerty, as I said, so he's 17 and 4 with 10 knockouts. A very, very talented fighter. Um, ISKA and WBC Muay Thai champion as well. So this is for the title. Ooh. In the opening rounds, Haggerty was able to keep Rod Tang at bay. So this is five rounds. Reach now. Advantage. That's going to be a bit more. The rounds went on. Woo. Going to say that's going to be more interesting. <sighs> Late kicks, man. Seemed to get stronger and stronger. Just oh, look at this speed, man! The raw speed. That was nice. He blasted Haggerty. Oh, he's running. Oh. Right. Jesus. Too intense, man. His intensity is just gnarly. 
Oof, that was a close one. A three time world champion. Damn. Gil That's a crazy record, though. Always on full display. His opponents routinely run away, fearful of confronting the Iron Man <laughs> straight up. I mean, who wouldn't run away? Oh, my God. God! He escaped death. Rod Dang chased him around the ring for three rounds. Dude, he, he just he he's like the predator. In every single fight, he's the predator and they're the prey. Like they're always running away from him. Oh! The exchange. Walter Gonsalves ran so much that Rod Dang called him out in <laughs> fight. I mean, he is running, man. Gonsalves running was less than entertaining, but understandable. I'd run from this beast, too. Twenty-two-year-old Rod Still, Dang the was predator. on a nine-match winning streak since entering. Nine Ball. match. The Iron Winning Man Street. would rematch Damn. with Jonathan Haggerty, Ooh, the man he'd taken the one flyweight world title from. Jonathan, this is the title fight again. General, he has to defend it, I'm guessing. He has had 260 wins. That's so many fights, man. Like, that is so crazy. <laughs> Nice mask. Yeah, world Championship. So he's defending the belt. Rod Dang dropped the former champ with a body shot. What? No way. Straight away. Just watch the athleticism on this. What? Oh my god, that is sick. He was levitating. Now, nah, I don't think a human could do that. Like, that is some, like, that is some extra senses that he has in his alien brain or something. How on earth? <laughs> that was crazy. Oh! Look at those body shots. Oh my god. That guy's just... It's nothing you can do, man. Look at this, man. Just one after another. Another body shot. Yeah, it's GG. Man. That was a good fight, though. At least for Rod Tang. Yeah, his body shots are no joke. He's nuts, man. What a fire, bro. What a fire. By the way, does he only fight in uh, flyweight? Ooh. I'm guessing there's, there's different weight classes uh, in this one championship thing. Does he go up in weight? Down in weight would be a bit much. <laughs> I don't think you can. But yeah, has he tried going up in weight? Because his power then would be... Oof! Yeah, I wonder if he's gone uh, gone up a division or something. Because then he could have two belts. And maybe he's just not comfortable with fighting heavier people. I don't know. Undertaking over 300 pro fights Ooh, before here we go. turning 23 years old. The man call the 300. That is such a big number, man. 7 and 0. Oh. Undefeated here in one for Rod Tang. Like his, like his speed, man. It's just incredible to witness. 
He's got such good accuracy with those body shots. He's right in the liver every time. There again. Another one. Combining oh. all of the abilities he's honed over his impressive young career. He's become a seasoned Jesus. veteran before turning 24 years old. Nolly. One Super Series Flyweight Muay Thai World Champion. So, is he still the, the champion? Still? Has no one beaten him? Most recently, he battled with up and comer Jacob Smith. Jacob it was Smith. a total deconstruction of Smith's style. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, no one can beat him. So, he's at the top right now. I'm guessing. Fake there from Jacob, fakes off the back leg, circles counterclockwise, takes that inside leg kick, then one to the outside Look leg. Look at that. Combo. Even Jacob Smith was quick to admit defeat. I fought last night on one championship. <laughs> so it's this guy, yeah. Lost every round. Convincingly. Smashing him all over the ring. Oh my god. Look at that. Just penetrates the, the defense entirely. Like, they, they can't do anything, man. He schooled me. He beat me. He was just one step ahead at all times. Rotten looking composed and relaxed. Goes right up the middle again. Nah, it's crazy how much better you can be. Oh my god. Look at that. Nah, bruh. That was a domination. Rod Tang won every round. I like that he always shows like respect and shit. Even though goal. it should be the other way around, to be honest. Um, it wouldn't take much to turn him to an MMA fighter. I'd be like, please don't kill me. <laughs> please Still don't so kill young. me. The combat sports world sits in eager anticipation. Oh my god, look at those hits, man. Iron man will do next. Oh. I'm guessing he, he's still on that one championship. Um, still at the top, right? I know this video was a bit old, but uh, might have to check that out. Rod Tang appears to be just now entering his prime. <laughs> just now, after 300 plus fights. Now he's getting good. Oh my days. Just flatlined him. Straight up. Oof. Like his combos, like his, his technique is so good, man. The Iron Man. I'd not want to be in a street fight with that guy, that's for sure. If you ever see anyone with those type of ears, yeah, I would just, I would just advise not to um, start a fight with them or start an argument with them, because uh, yeah. That's what's gonna happen. You're just gonna end up like that Smith guy. <laughs> Absolutely demolished. Nah, but this was a good bloody video to show throughout his career what he's, he's accomplished and uh, yeah, his development and uh, where he's at now. There's uh, a few more of these documentaries, actually. There's one about Boakau, which, which I fancy watching. Uh, so I'm gonna probably watch that in the future. Stay tuned, uh, like the video. If you want to see that Boakau documentary video, uh, because Boakau is, yeah, he's a bit gnarly. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, this guy, <sighs> yeah, he's the Iron Man for sure. Like, no doubt about it. It didn't really even show any of the, like, him getting hit and just, like, not giving a fuck. Showed more just about his technique and him uh, battering people up, uh, which is, you know, obviously his forte as well. I'd actually like, like to see, like, him or 
you know, any other, like, famous Muay Thai fighter go head-to-head -head with, like, a UFC fighter, you know, like, Conor McGregor or uh, any of those lot that, that are good strikers and have the ability to strike. And I'd want to see what is the difference in striking, how much better is a Muay Thai fighter compared to, a, let's say, an MMA fighter. That'd be pretty interesting to see. Imagine that, Conor McGregor versus Rod Tang. That would be a fucking fight, I'd see. But yeah, uh, enough of my chit-chatting. I'm going to have to end it here. Hope you enjoyed, as I said. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have to see you in my next up-and-coming video. Bye-bye.